So I wanted to make this quick little video to talk about five reasons why you need to do a personal project. So you are a photographer. Maybe you're a starting photographer. You've been doing it for 10 years, five years, two months. I don't know. It doesn't really matter. Here are my five reasons why you should take on a personal project as opposed to doing paid work. Not that you shouldn't be doing paid work at the same time, but let's say you're not taking on paid work, you're just learning stuff, you're figuring stuff out, you're trying to find out where your skills are, what your artistic abilities are, what you're interested in, that kind of thing. So, five reasons, starting with number one. It will get you to concentrate on a specific set of skills. For example, in my personal project, the Peterborough Artists and Artisans Portrait Project, the skills I wanted to concentrate on were the ability to come into a place I've never been to and make an interesting portrait of a single person with minimal amount of equipment. In practically every portrait, I relied on two lights, both small speed lights and possibly a modifier of some kind, an umbrella, a softbox, usually an umbrella. And I would figure out exactly how to make my equipment work the way I wanted and in conjunction with the camera and the tripod, etc, 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 using a limited space, using one lens, I only used one lens and um, I kept it at it practically its widest aperture. And in this case, actually for this entire project, it was a Nikkor 2870. So the skills I wanted to concentrate on was the ability to come into a space I've never been to, meet a person I've never met before, which is 99% of the time, and make an interesting portrait. So that's number one. Number two, doing so will expose you to a different market depending on the subject of your project. Uh, in this case, I wanted to be exposed to the art market. Peterborough has a huge art community, not only uh, visual artists, but also music artists, um, poetry, writing, that sort of thing. So there's a very large market and there are a lot of people who are into it. So I wanted to concentrate this project on a specific market, which is exactly what I did, hence the title and um, the people that I'm photographing. Doing so will give your project strength and a focus, which makes it easier to basically get people to sit for you, in this case stand, and will immediately have an audience. Since there are so many art fans in Peterborough, this project immediately has an audience. Even if it's a fairly small one, it still has an audience and word spreads, which will really help with uh, marketing. And number three, you will learn quickly how to deal with new problems that you might not have in the past. For example, technical problems. I had to deal with technical problems on many occasions. In this case, this is Annie Schurz. She makes uh, jewelry, that kind of thing. And her studio is a small building, very small building, constructed in her backyard. It is so small that I couldn't even be in it to photograph her. So, in some cases, dealing with space limitations. Dealing with different angles, open spaces, making it an interesting photograph. So there are different problems you have to deal with and by doing something repeatedly again and again and again, you start to figure out the fastest and easiest way to do it. Number four, your artistic abilities will be challenged as you shoot more and more images with the same context and subject matter. So they were challenged in this case by having different sizes of studios, obviously having different personalities I have to deal with. In most cases everybody was quite accommodating which is awesome but it might not be in your case. You might have to deal with people who really don't want you to be there. 
so you have to learn how to deal with those people and um, learning how to deal with people spaces equipment all that kind of stuff so one challenge after another you have to deal with it you got to get in and got to get it out and hopefully you can do it in a time frame that's acceptable to both you and the subject number five personal projects could lead to paid work for example by putting together a paid project a, a personal project and having it exposed to the market in this case the public who adore art and artists you are basically saying this is the kind of work I do this is the kind of work I can be hired to do you should hire me in uh, my case one of my artists in fact the very last one that I photographed hired me to photograph some of her art and she was using that as a submission to a magazine I'm not sure if it was a contest or something but she was using that to uh, submit her um, her skills her talents her artwork to uh, a publication in the States and that was a paid job so I shot that in my house well after I had done her portrait personal projects can lead to lit to uh, paid work like I said I just watched a video about an artist in New York City who travels all over the world and she started by doing personal projects for a local farm an organic farm and that blossomed into numerous projects by magazines and organizations where they basically sent her all over the world to photograph specific subjects and of course she's paid very well to do that so these are my five reasons why you need to do a personal project get off your butt and go do it don't plan too long set yourself a limit perhaps a time limit perhaps a subject limit perhaps both which is what I did and stick to it don't let anything get in your way and you will succeed good luck